Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Guns Locked. I'm Gunther the Great. And today we're gonna be looking at Sway Lee's dreadlock. Now the reason I chose Sway Lee is because I put out a poll on the YouTube page and you guys chose him that was like 58%. But if you guys want me to keep doing polls, comment down below that I should do more polls. And it just makes it easier for you guys to get what you want. So what you guys should do right now is go down and comment down who you wanna see next and I'll definitely go look in and then make a poll for the next video. But let's just jump straight into it and look at Sway Lee's dreadlock, see how he got him, see where he's at now. Kind of the whole evolution and the process of where he is and how he got to where he is now. So we are looking at this first photo right here. You can see that his hair is really messy. It's not very maintained whatsoever. You can see that it probably started with towel rub or sponge rub. There's no really maintenance done with his hair. You can see that some of his tips are blunted off. Some of them are skinny. Some of them are thick. But mostly up here it's super messy. You can see that some are dropping in the back. And this is when he did have the mohawk. I'm not sure if he still has a mohawk now. But we can tell in further photos. I just wanted to show this photo to show you guys how far his dreadlocks have came. There has been a lot of maintenance done on his dreadlocks so far. And his dreadlocks are turning out really good. One of the best dreadlocks in the game for sure. But we're gonna move on to this other photo right here, which is a little bit more down the line. His hair is getting way more mature. You can just see that his hair is actually looking like dreadlocks rather than freeforms. They still do look a little bit freeform just because of everything that's going on. You can see that there's a Congo right here. You can see that there's some skinny back here. Some are thick. Some are still standing up, they're very frizzy. And this all comes with uh, low maintenance, which there wasn't that much maintenance going on during the beginner stages of his locks. But I did notice after he started popping a little bit more, they were maintained for a little bit. I didn't get any of those photos when his hair was starting to be maintained a little bit more. Moving on to this one, you can see that this was honestly my favorite stage of his dreadlocks, where he has it dip dyed and he got it bleached. Uh, not blonde and not platinum blonde, but it's kind of just like a bleached color, which is pretty much just like the bronze color. You can see that his hair is dip dyed and it looks really, really, really cool. This is when his hair started getting a lot of length. All of his hair was pretty much the same size. So whoever did his hair made it look really good. His hair was super cylindrical, super nice looking, but overall just looked really, really nice around everything. Moving on to another photo, you can see that his hair is still dip dyed. It does have like a bronzy color to it, but overall I think bronze looks okay with dreadlocks. For African American hair, bronze looks really good in African American hair. So when you bleach your hair, it kind of turns a bronze color. You would have to put toner in it to actually get it to a blonde, a platinum blonde, or anything lighter than a bronze color. But they are very bronze. You can see that sun back here are brighter, and that just comes from washing your hair, being out in the sun. Nothing else, unless he did actually put toner in a few of them, but left the rest the same. But I don't know about you guys, but I can definitely agree with myself that his dreadlocks look the best in this stage right here. I don't know if I'm bold enough to actually dip dye my hair, or even dye my my hair at all but when I see other people who dye their hair and it looks really good just like Sway Lee did his hair it looks a one since day one but if you do fast forward probably about a year he did cut his bangs he actually cut his dreadlocks and as you guys do know Slim Jimmy he actually had dreadlocks too which is in the group that shimmered with Sway Lee he cut his dreadlocks not too long ago, but really random how he cut his dreadlocks. But hey, he probably just got tired of them. It is really interesting how Sway Lee wanted to go with this Rick James kind of look with the bangs and then the long sides and everything. He does have a few of them braided, but overall, his dreadlocks are all super cylindrical, all the same size. And it's crazy to see how his dreadlocks came this far from being freeform or like semi-freeform. And moving on to this last photo, you can tell that his hair is super maintained, no frizziness whatsoever. You can't see any frizziness, but his bangs are growing out a little longer. And he does kind of have them cut to where it's like short in the middle, and then they start getting longer down the edge. But it is really interesting to see how his hair is. I believe Sway Lee pulled a bold move doing this with cutting his bangs. I've never really seen it besides Rick James. I don't know if anybody else before or after Sway Lee cut their dreads this way. I personally would never cut my bangs, but hey, sometimes you gotta switch the game up. That is Sway Lee's dreadlocks. Like I said, comment down who you guys wanna see next. And also comment down ammunition so I know you're part of the team. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.